Today game features a quick and fun game. It features both as gambit. Both as gambit games are really fun. Uh, regardless whether it's accepted or declined, both as gambit games are really fun. Today I don't have a puzzle as usual. What I will have is a sequence of move uh, and I'm going to have you guess my next move. So it's just one sequence, one combo. So guess the next move. Anyway, let's begin. The opening is King's Pawn game, other variation. Because as you can see, that's a unique variation right there. Uh, put King Safety over there. This is pretty normal. And Black is attacking. So, queen's, uh, Queen is getting up. Usually there would be some activity over here on the Queen side, but not today, because today uh, the, all the activity is going to start over here on the King side. Next move. This is a uh, tension over there, trading Queen. I don't want to trade queen at this time. So anyway, we've entered the middle game phase over there. So the opening is just jockeying for position basically. But here now I'm starting to try to gain some positional advantages. This is a little trick over here. So basically, if I take the knight, Need my bishop. Uh, bishop uh, takes knight, queen takes bishop, queen takes queen, pawn takes queen, and suddenly I have a hole over here, and the king cannot castle on that side. So that's interesting. And as you can tell, that's pretty much it. And uh, let me show you the moves here. Boom. Uh, you don't want to do that, so this one, this one, this one, and suddenly there's a hole in there. So this uh, hole here can work both ways. Basically what happens is black wants to castle queen side and have the rook attack this pawn right here. So it can work one way or another. Uh, and if black does that, my king will move this one and then the rook will go that way. So something to think about. Anyway, I did not do any of that, but this is what I did. Right, so I move the knight to this position. Right? And right now, you know, there's nothing to it, basically. Just uh, contesting squares. Uh, I'm not contesting pieces, I'm contesting squares. So, next move. Now that's contesting pieces because you know it's taking there and it's taking there. So, so this is tactics, contesting pieces. Uh, I like to think of tactics as uh, playing with pieces. Strategy is playing with squares. So the position was positional, strategic, and now with the net attack here, net attack there, it becomes tactical. It's just the heart of chess, actually. So right now, the game just goes very quickly toward the middle game. Uh, I mean, toward the end game, basically. The middle game is going away rapidly. So, next move. This is castling. Castling is making the king safe. But... <laughs> You have to understand that there's like a, on a line of way here. So again, I can always have the option to go here and put the rook there and suddenly that's going to be in trouble. So this is the wrong place to castle over there. Uh, black, I think black should have castled this way over there. And now I know you cannot do that over there because there's queen there. So probably put it over there. Uh, before castling, so just an advice there. So 
let's go uh, start going forward yeah let's targeting the squares right here next move yep it's close up for that <coughs> uh, but every pawn move should be considered a weakness the queen is no longer guarded Me. The queen is no longer guarded, so the there is a possibility that attack that rook can attack here over there. Right now, it's not a problem because these squares are guarded by the pawns over here. But that's always you know something to consider about. Next move. So suddenly I'm taking this pawn away of it. Or at least try to. Next move. So that squares become available. And there you go. Threatening that one over there. Now, this is actually have a advantage of black because uh, black can do this over there. And suddenly, black's up a pawn. So that's that's why the, post, the evaluation is like that. So anyway, uh, black takes that rook there, and queen move here. This is uh, safeguarding the queen really, yeah, because if the queen move there, yeah, that's going to be problematic. So this is safeguarding the queen, a defensive move. Next move. Yep, like that. So goes like that. Uh, positional is actually draw. This is a theoretical draw. So next move. So that's a clever bit on this one over there because uh, remember uh, the rook tries to attack the queen. So over here, it's like, yeah, I want to attack the queen over there. Uh, the thing about this is that this pawn again becomes lost uh, over there. So so let's, let's see what happens. Next move. And that's very clever over there because it's attacking that one, attacking that one. So suddenly becomes three attacker and defended twice. So, next move. And this one's basically attack twice, defend that once. But I already took a pawn, so it's okay. Next move. And that's a mistake right there. Plus two over there. Yep. Uh, so, I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with that whatsoever. Next move. Check. And the king is safe. Also, as a bonus, guards all these uh, pieces over there, as well as a bonus over there. Guards this one. So if something bad happens over there, you know, so the king is really safe. It's like castling to the side over there. Like, I got pawn, shield, but rather, but rather than the king over here, uh, one of the in front of the king, it's side of the king to the attacking side. So it's the same principle as castling, but it's not in the normal casting position. So anyway, that's it right there. Next move, and you can tell that's that's a blunder. Uh, right now, at this point in time, I have a one game clear and simple. So, pause the game over here. I'm gonna pause the game over here a bit, and I want you to guess what's my next move. What should I do? And this is what I did. Just take, just take the rook. 
because the pawn is pinned to the king. The pawn cannot take the queen. So, yep, that's a winning move. And it's made in four, made in eight, basically. So, absolute win position. So, next move. Going back to the, uh, pull back the, to the back rank. And guess my next move. What should I do? And this is what I did. <laughs> yep. <coughs> I'm thinking of, uh, you know, fork. Check the king and fork the rook and her. I'll be up another rook. But of course, that's not true. Because just king just takes that down at that end. <laughs> and both this can be accepted. Let me put this gambit really uh, name from name for the potter sister, you know, uh, a YouTuber who plays chess and uh, Twitch. They're, they're on Twitch also. So anyway, so that's what so that's what happened. That's what. Now, before we do that, the question is, what should I do when I'm in at this position? And the answer is simple. Take this one right there. Just like that. Just like that. I mean, the queen is trapped right here, right? Queen cannot go here. Cannot go here. Cannot go here. Like, what is that? So, queen can only go here. Check. Check. And this is both this gambit. From black. Instead of from me, it's from black. So, take the queen. And that's it. Made in one, like made in one right there. So put this one up, push this one up, push this one up, put this one up, and straightening a mate over there. Like, there's nothing to it, right? So got to make some room over there. And Easy enough. Take that. Check. And check over there. So all the squares are covered over here. So I just have to do it right there. So. And. Mid. Right. Uh, oh no. That, that's one. That's one right here. So. Okay. Uh, and mid right there. There we go. Mid. So that's that. What should have happened? That did not happen that way. So, so yeah. <laughs> Put this game with uh, crazy, crazy. I know, crazy. So anyway, black of course, seeing the king uh, being offered a queen like that did the absolutely natural move to do. And that is to bravely run away. <laughs> mm -hmm. This, I think, can only happen online because if it's for the board, the, my opponent probably would see my you know, facial expression. Like, oh. No, you turn that hat. You just do, just give away your queen. So my opponent probably would have seen my reaction and would have sit down think about it and take the queen so online it doesn't it doesn't see we don't see each other reaction right so yeah so what should i do remember i said about four there you go pop this one and check there's only one move that can do, and that's this one. What should I do? This 
this is what I should have done. I should have done this over there. Check. Like, yeah, like that's it. The queen cannot go here because it's being pinned. So there's only one move that I can do over there and mid. Just like that. Mid. Uh, easy, right? Easy. Like that. There's nothing to it. Unfortunately, I was uh, under time pressure and still recovering from my Botus Gambit Pro Haha. So, so, Queen goes here and I did this one right here. Check. Another Botus Gambit. Okay, here, take my Queen. <laughs> and yes, the King takes the, the Queen. Uh, over there, right there. And like, why didn't I take this one? Uh, like, why didn't I take this one over there? I don't know. I don't know why I did what I did. There you go. And take the pawn over there. Pro promotion over there. And then I take the pawn. Followed by check over here, king move over there, and pawn promotes over there. So at this point, black resign. Okay, there you go. And that's the game. Well, that was fun. Uh, I mean, it was normal all the way up to the end, and then put this game back. Uh, just come out of nowhere. Both, uh, you know, both from black and from white and black. Black that it was. I did it twice. So, anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.